The 1044 is brought to you by Chevron Dello 600ADF Ultra Low Ash Diesel Engine Oil. It's time to kick some ash. This week on the 1044, we're talking engine oil drain intervals and what fleets can do to squeeze more mileage out of their crankcase. Hey everybody and welcome to the 1044, a weekly webisode from the editors here at CCJ. I'm Jason Cannon and my co-host on the other side is Matt Cole. A lot has changed with regard to engine maintenance, specifically with engine oil. Years ago, many fleets were draining engine oils at around, say, the 25,000 mile mark. And now, depending on the engine OEM and your duty cycle, recommended drain intervals have skyrocketed by more than 300%. Just one example, the EPA 2021 compliant X15 efficiency series from Cummins features a 75,000 mile oil drain in interval for trucks getting seven miles per gallon or more. So that's your low idle on highway applications. And through its oil guard program, which uses engine performance data and oil analysis to safely optimize oil drain intervals, Cummins will sign off on up to 80,000 miles under the right conditions. You don't have to buy a new truck or even a newer truck to extend your engine oil drain intervals. Chevron senior staff engineer Sean Whitaker says it could be as simple as just confirming with the OEM that you're changing the oil at its recommended interval, which may be longer than you think it is. He says in many cases, fleets haven't picked up on the fact that a newer truck may allow for an interval that's several thousand miles further than what the older units were getting. But before we hear from Sean, I'd like to take a second and tell you about the sponsor of this video, Chevron Lubricants. Protecting your diesel engine and its after treatment system has traditionally been a double-edged sword. The same engine oil that is so essential to protecting your engine's internal parts is also responsible for 90% of the ash that is clogging up your DPF and upping your fuel and maintenance costs. Outdated industry thinking still sees a trade-off between engine and emission system protection and Chevron was tired of it, so they spent a decade of R&D developing a no-compromise formulation. Chevron Lubricants developed a new ultra-low ash diesel engine oil that is specifically designed to combat DPF ash clogging. Dello 600 ADF with Omnimax technology cuts sulfate ash by a whopping 60%, which reduces the rate of DPF clogging and extends DPF service life by two and a half times. And just think what you can do with all the MPGs you're going to add from cutting your number of regens. But Dello 600 ADF isn't just about after treatment. It provides complete protection, extending drain intervals by preventing oil breakdown. Before you had to choose between protecting your engine or your after treatment system, and now you don't. 600 ADF from Dello with Omnimax technology, it's time to kick some ash. Well, one of the things that I've found interesting over the years is that there's a really a spectrum of attitudes and behaviors as it relates to maintenance practices and old habits die hard. And a lot of times in with owner operators or smaller fleets, um, they don't always realize what potential exists just from kind of taking advantage of OEM recommended drain intervals when looking to extend. Um, engine builders and oil companies alike have worked hard over the last many years to deliver on improvements that have greatly extended oil life and allowed for longer maintenance intervals. Um, these include changes to the engines themselves, larger sumps, better temperature management, um, better control of combustion and power cylinder designs that have um, really enhanced the, the way the engine treats the oil. But then at the same time, we've done a lot to enhance oil chemistry through uh, better uh, soot resistance and even more recently through enhancing the oxidative stability of the oil. So really enhancing and fortifying the additive protection that allows it to withstand higher temperatures and last longer in the engine. And so what we're seeing is maybe at the top end, OEM recommendations that are as long as 75,000 miles, which is... Uh, much higher than when I started in this industry and where the norm was maybe in the, the neighborhood of 25,000 miles as the, the average recommended drain interval. A carrier who spends a lot of time at idle isn't going to be able to accomplish the same kind of extended interval as a carrier who's logging 600 miles a day. And a good rule of thumb is the higher the truck's MPGs, the further you can stretch the oil. Part of that process of consulting the manual or maybe even engaging with your OEM dealer or distributor is to understand your duty cycle uh, because that plays a role in defining what is recommended. Oftentimes these are tiered uh, intervals. So harder working engines, engines that get lower MPG because they're burning more fuel often qualify for a shorter drain interval than those that are 
maybe operating in a more steady state fashion, getting very high MPG. In those cases, the engine's not working as hard, not stressing the oil as much, and therefore uh, the recommended drain interval can be significantly longer. Not every fleet's going to be able to pick the low-hanging fruit, which in this case is just leaving miles on the table by draining too soon. For fleets that are already at the top end of the OEM recommendation, hope's not lost. You're just going to need some help. So one of the things that you might want to consider if you're already maxed out at what the owner's manual says you're uh, entitled to is it's really an important thing to then engage with your uh, equipment builder, maybe your oil supplier, so that you can partner with them to put together a strategy that will allow you to uh, comfortably and responsibly go uh, to an extension. There's actually some OEMs that have um, dedicated programs that uh, define how to do this. And so they'll partner with you to uh, examine your duty cycle, examine your maintenance habits, as well as look at um, oil analysis uh, to make a judgment on what is actually appropriate for your specific operation. But if um, an OEM gets more comfortable with your specific operation, your duty cycles, your routes, the oil quality that you use, they may actually be in a position to endorse something that's longer than their standard published intervals. So and also a good thing to, to join up with your oil supplier as well, because they're going to be able to help you uh, set up an oil analysis program. And then more importantly, understand sort of the, the significance of some of the results that you're seeing so that you're doing that uh, in an appropriate fashion and something that will keep you within warranty coverage. Sean mentioned oil sampling and analysis and having a peek inside at just what's happening in the oil pan is a critical component in asking more of your fluids. So there are a few things that you want to look at in terms of oil sampling that will help you define the appropriate oil drain interval. What you're ultimately looking at is trying to monitor the condition of the oil over a period of time out, out into and maybe a little bit beyond where your target oil drain interval is. Watching that uh, as a trend analysis is even more important. So taking a sample when the right after the oil change, maybe one time at the midpoint and then one time right at that target interval or maybe a bit beyond allows you to watch how that uh, degradation is occurring over time. The other thing that I often recommend and make sure to reinforce in an oil sampling program is you absolutely must record accurate data associated with the sample. If the, the type of oil that's used can be critical, also the mileage at which the sample was taken is is pivotal when you're trying to do a oil sampling and analysis program because without that metadata the the end results tend to be um, less meaningful there are no shortage of off-the-shelf products that boast claims of improved engine protection or oil life but sean advised fleets to be leery of adding anything to the oil that wasn't included by the original manufacturer so all i can really say is that use at your own risk um oftentimes the you know, in, in best case, the results are unpredictable, and in worst case, that um, they can be undesirable. Um, one of the things that I know as an oil formulator is that one of the things that we have to do is balance a tremendous number of different considerations. So it's not only about making sure that the oil performs well, but also that it is compatible with engine materials. These can be non metallic materials like um, seals but also some of the metallic componentry within engines that um, can have unintended consequences if you're um, over-treating with certain additives or maybe using a uh, componentry that is particularly aggressive to yellow metals. And so we've already, as, a, as an oil supplier, taken all of those re requirements into consideration and have developed a kind of a combination of additives and base oils that are purposely put together to deliver on those requirements. The oils have to remain stable and compatible with the hardware. The minute you start top treating with things, um, the results are, are certainly unpredictable. Fleets historically are hesitant to change oil type, whether it's switching from a standard or synthetic or to a lower viscosity oil. But Sean says there's still some gains to be made and changing oil type isn't always necessary. So I think it's an important thing to consult with your oil supplier about the various ways that you can achieve an oil drain interval extension. 
Um, it may not require that you go to a full synthetic engine oil that, um, you know, is tailored for a uh, long drain, uh, very robust cold temperature operation. There may be opportunities even with more conventional viscosity grades like 15W40 or even 10W30s are very common today offered at attractive price points, but then that can offer the types of performance benefits that enable extended drain interval. That's it for this week's 1044. You can read more on ccjdigital.com. As always, you can find the 1044 each week on CCJ's YouTube channel. And if you've got questions, comments, criticisms, or feedback, please hit us up at 1044trucking at gmail.com or give us a call 404-491-1380. And until next week, everybody stay safe and extend those old drain intervals.